I didn't do anything here. See all the shadows? It's yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody. All right, we are going to do another It's Funny You Ask episode. I have suckered Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker to Alyssa here. If you don't know her, um, you are going to want to stay tuned for this because um, I didn't even ask you, am I allowed to say pot farmer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on, the, on this yet. Just we're, on the, we're good. We're good. That's yeah. okay. So you're going to want to yeah. stay tuned for this one. She has a lot to share and it's, um, hemp. it's hemp. It is, but um, I like to call you it. You like to make jokes. I like to call it the pot. <laughs> I, I, I like to tell people, what's something wrong with you? Take the pot. Like, it'll help you. It'll help you. And I'm not like a pot smoker, so that's not even normal for me to say. You're just a funny girl. I'm just a funny girl. Yeah. All right. So welcome to Alyssa Garner to It's Funny You Ask. Um, let's start off by how, how have people known you up until recently? I've been in the real estate industry for the last 15 years um, in Cedar Rapids uh, since 2012. So that's kind of how people know me. I own, um, I'm still part owner of Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate Corridor. And your he husband runs that now. He runs it now, and I actually let my license go at the end of December, which was I kind of panicked because I've had it for 15 oh, years. So. That's a nice safety. Yeah, but net. it's a it's a good way to transition to what's next, to like have an ending to what was before. So yeah. Okay, so we met. I always talk about at first like how we met, but we met because several people in the community were like, "Hey, do you know who Kendra is?" And so you reached out to me. Yeah. Um, what were they saying? Tell me now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you everything that they said about you. <laughs> okay, great. Um, just mover and a shaker and networker. And um, obviously with your U conferences, my friend uh, Megan Hoffmeister was a speaker. Um, my friend Syra was a speaker as well. That's right, you and, know Syra. Um, Tanya Green had also mentioned you as well. And so those are all great influencers in the community. And so you attract what you are, right? If right. If they said that I needed to know you, then... I so, listened to Yeah, so we got together for coffee, and it was interesting because you're a listener. You are, like, one of the few people I meet with that just listen, and you listen for a long time. And then we found out so many things. Like, first of all, she practically lives in my grandparents' backyard. <laughs> <laughs> we um, grew up within an, a year of graduation dates together and within a small radius of miles from each other as like growing up so um we really probably know all of the same people <laughs> <laughs> had like 200 mutual friends on yeah. social media but we never met it was really never cool. met i never even heard of you like i barely <laughs> heard of your real estate company <laughs> but you okay so the most interesting thing to me was you pretty much took last year off so your mom right yeah. mom of like we're a blended uh, family, so I have a 10-year-old, and then I also have a 12, 14, 16, and 18-year-old stepkids, two boys and two girls. So you have a whole herd of teenagers. Yeah. They go to, like, four different schools <laughs> or something crazy, you said? I have two at Northland, one at Kirkwood, and one at Summit here in Cedar Rapids. So you're, like, all over the place, and you, like, does, and you live out in the country mm -hmm. in Buchanan County. Yeah. yeah, in the middle of nowhere. And you, yeah, truly the middle of nowhere. On a heritage farm, it's kind of cool. It's been my husband's family over 150 years. We're actually getting... Wow. The Heritage Award this summer at the State Fair. Oh, um, fun! That is like the most Iowa thing you've ever yeah. said. <laughs> it's a true story. Like we're gonna get our picture taken with the buttercup. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and for all of my friends watching that are from out of state, yeah. And you, um, so you kind of took the last year off, and you're talking to a lot of people. Okay, so real estate is all in all the time, constant mm -hmm. go. So were you burned out? What what led to this year off? It's the only thing that I had done in my adult life. And so stepping away from that, um, I just didn't know what to do. When I, when I knew that that had come to an end, I didn't know how to function in a different realm. And so uh, yeah, it was actually very difficult. Um, I don't sit still well. And in real estate, you're always on call and things like that. So did um, you find when you were working that like people would pull you out of like depressive states, like having to be somewhere, being an appointment, having to show up, having to be at an appointment did that keep you moving or yeah you have to or did it delay you, the depression you, you really can't be tran fully transparent with people because there always has to be that air of professionalism and right and things like that so um, yeah yeah so you um and then you and last winter was so freaking hard it's i mean so terrible. blizzard after blizzard after blizzard and the sun didn't come out for like four months and so it was 40 below zero or something yeah, awful and then to not have the distraction of real estate just kind of like or it wasn't even even buying houses anyway <laughs> you know we we had a great year last year anyway um Good. so it, it was 
all, all things considered, it was a great year. I just, um, January, February, and March really kicked my butt because I didn't know what to do with myself. And so I really struggled with some anxiety and panic myself trying to figure out what was next and what that was. Because there wasn't like. something waiting? There wasn't something waiting. There, no, there wasn't. Um, and and also just once you, especially in real estate, you know, your name's everywhere, your phone number's everywhere. You, Your job is so that people think of you over the thousand other realtors in town. And so, you know, just panicking over, oh, now what are people going to think? You know, was that, where, is where that the biggest go? worry? Like what other, like, yes, as a, how as many a, connections as a, did you have? As a personal, I mean, I've, you know, thousands of people on my phone over the years of real estate right. and, and things like that. Um, just in October 2018 was uh, selected a quarter business journal, 40 under 40. That's right, yeah. So like kind of at the height of my career, peace out. And, and I am a people pleaser. And so, yeah, my biggest uh, anxiety, I guess, was like, what are my friends going to think? You know, if I and then you, you know. and then you jumped into the hemp industry. <laughs> <laughs> so the pendulum mean, swung a bit there. <laughs> so also, I mean, were you concerned when you so you do it like during this year? I'm assuming you did some research to figure out what you want to do. So you go from like heels and and business suits to like I, when I met you, you had like messy braid and a hat, and like now you're Farmer Alyssa yeah. and. <laughs> The pendulum swung me. But also judgment, full zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I can't even imagine, like, how much people are like, I mean, what did people think when you were like, hey, by the way, I want to start going, growing hemp? Actually, people have been so kind, and it's actually reaffirmed, like, my faith in That's humanity. Awesome. And, yeah, I, my fear of what that perception was going to be and stuff. It's all like, fear? It was really fear. And people in Iowa are great, and I really do have great friends and family that... And they were even, still there, even though you took this time off The for first rest. year, I'd have to say my parents did think of that I was dealing dope. But I won them <laughs> over, and my dad's one of my biggest supporters now and fans, and tells everybody uh, about what I'm doing. That's cool. So, okay, I, there's a couple things. I want to talk about this in a second. I want to talk a little bit about, like, your products. Um, if you're watching this online um, or on Facebook, anyway, on Facebook Live, this is um, her brand looks like this. It's Farm Health, Farm to Health Organics, and you can look her up. I've got her, I've got her plugged. Um, so she's got lots of, first of all, your branding is gorgeous and your packaging is beautiful, which is crazy important to me because, like, this is stuff sitting in my medicine cabinet, on my vanity, um, in my in my home. I don't want it to look like somebody sold me dope. <laughs> right. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> yeah. The the approach here was, you know, people have had to go to vape shops to get their CBD. We wanted to take a different approach because we have a lot of grandmothers that you know buy a product that are f afraid and don't want to go to a vape shop or sketchy part of town. Um, so we took this really high road, uh, it's so transparency it, and it, the outside matches what's on the inside of the, the container, which is more important because the pendulum can swing the other way, right? Where you have really great packaging, but it's still not good on the inside. Right. So right. We, we have both. You have a lot of integrity when it comes to that. So right before I met you, it was absolutely hilarious. Grandma, I'm sorry. I know you're going to be watching and you're going to be listening. She's my biggest fan. She accounts for at least 20% of my viewership. So <laughs> like, I understand your poll, Grandma. However, right beforehand, she had told me she bought some CBD online because she was um, basically targeted, a targeted ad. She's um, she's a big, um, she's a conservative uh, uh, politically conservative and so she got tar a targeted ad on Facebook selling her really cheap CBD mm -hmm. um, with the, the premise that Sean Hannity and um, and Donald Trump were like in cahoots <laughs> to sell this to her and it's really she was like oh well you know I trust these people so I want to buy this from them and so I'm like I'm like don't put that in your mouth mm -hmm. grandma like don't don't do that and she showed me the ad it, it and it was pr pretty well done um, I can see why anybody would be be duped by that but uh, so this is all over the internet you can walk into all kinds of stores and buy CBD right now in all kinds of ways and shapes and fashions and I don't think the general population knows what to ask about so what are the things that we can ask about if, if you like what are you doing differently and what do we as consumers ask about to know if we're getting what we're paying for mm -hmm. 
Um, the first question that's easy and because it covers a lot is do they offer third-party testing and can you see those results? So um, that's one of the very first things that we did is we have third-party testing. We have a QR code on every single one of our products that way grandma can go and see that what is in the bottle, what we tell her we're selling her is actually what's in there because the University of Pennsylvania did a study and over 70% of the CBD products that they tested didn't have in the bottle what the label said that it had. Oh my God. Dr. Oz also did a similar study and he his team found things like heavy metals, they found pesticides, and they even found E. coli bacteria in one of the company's products that they tested. So just- Oh my God. <laughs> we test for all of those things. Um, we test for over 60 pesticides, um, heavy metals, um, THC, we are a non-THC product and we can prove that we have removed any trace amounts of THC. So, so you can take your products and pass a drug test. That's absolutely. no problem. Yep. And that's a concern for people that want to mm-hmm. take CBD and they um, and they're, they work a job where they may have random mm-hmm. drug testing and all of that. My sister just popped on on Facebook Live mm-hmm. and said, is this the pot dealer? Yeah, this is her. <laughs> but you <laughs> but you can't. It's hemp. It's hemp. It's hemp. It's hemp. <laughs> Um, but you can't uh, you can't grow it in Iowa yet. Not yet. But you're on a waiting list to get um, a license. So right. And once the application process is out, I'll, I'll, so I open two companies. One is called Iowa Hemp, um, and that will be on the farming side of things. Smart with the name. And then the retail. Super searchable. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the retail side of things, it's Farm Health Organic. So our goal, big picture, once Iowa laws allow us to, is to be farmers extractors processors and the whole thing from beginning to end so and you're really targeting I was so interested that you're targeting baby boomers primarily because um, like you said they don't want to go into a vape shop or a tobacco place and and or some something that seems sketchy and I've, I've seen all the sketch <laughs> you know out of somebody's coat like you want to watch yeah. <laughs> want some CBD <laughs> super sketchy yeah Let me find it, out. <laughs> yeah it is super sketchy mm-hmm. and it's um it's it's scary uh to I mean this is just a like okay let me just say say it like this because I'm an incredibly direct person but like it is really terrifying for like these very conservative uh, white old folks in mm-hmm. rural communities to like even think about taking the pot. Yeah. Like that's very, and I say that with all the sarcasm in the world, but that's the feeling that they have. Mm-hmm. So I really am impressed that you want to take that feeling away so they feel comfortable and can solve their pain issues. Mm-hmm. And like, that's awesome. Okay. So I, secondarily, you're helping people with anxiety, mm-hmm. depression. So talk to me about that because, um, I, I mean, obviously we know it's a huge epidemic. You, um, I'm sure as a professional dealt with it. You said you dealt with it when you were going through your time off. Mm -hmm. So how is CBD helpful for that? How can people use it? Can you use it in conjunction with other drugs? Yeah. Um, That's kind of how the whole thing started was last year I I was looking for something to help um, calm my own nerves. I wasn't sleeping at night. I couldn't get to sleep or stay asleep just because I was an adrenaline junkie up to that point and real estate did that for me, right? Right. It just kept me going and going and so when all of a sudden that wasn't there, um, I needed something to calm my nerves. So I started taking a, a CBD product. Um, so the very first product that I came up with, if you hand me that bag, I'll show it to you. Yeah. It uh, was a soft gel. And if this was the only product that I ever took or could take up my line, it would be this one. It's um, a THC-free um, hemp soft gel. And it's got hemp. And it's also got, uh, so it's got CBD and all the other cannabinoids except THC, but this also has melatonin in it. And so as we know, melatonin just helps us go to sleep, relax, um, yeah. relax um, and so this is something you take in the evening. So this soft gel, um, okay, so you mentioned ca- cannabinoids, so can you explain qu- just quick yeah. broad spectrum CBD and what that means and why all of those cannabis, what what does that mean? Yeah. Cannabis. So you'll hear three different terms in um, the industry. One is isolate, uh, a broad spectrum and a full spectrum. Isolate means that they've taken out, let's say that um, the 
cannabis plant has, the hemp plant has 100 cannabinoids. THC is one of them that you've probably heard of, and also CBD. There's actually there's, about 98 other ones There's as well. CB other letters. Yes, lots of other ones. Um, so we've taken out the THC, which leaves about 99 other ones, including CBD, right? So that's um, an isolate will take out, will flush all of the other ones except CBD. Okay, so that's an isolate, okay. which I think is a waste because it's a beautiful plant. There's this lots of healing. C B E A E I O. Yeah, is really yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> it's really good, and they're flushing it if you have an isolate product. Right. Um, uh, broad spectrum has everything except THC, so that's what my products are. And a full spectrum will have everything, including trace the trace amounts of, C, of so THC. So if it's hemp, full spectrum, it has trace amounts of THC. Yeah. If it and then if it comes from marijuana, that's the cousin to the hemp plant, and that's a whole nother that's a whole, whole other nother thing. conversation. So you're only dealing in hemp. So one of the things that I would think would be um, awesome about this, just from outside looking in, is that um, the soft gel you don't have the taste or the smell. Then right. If of, so somebody is, I also have oils, which is the most popular form to take CBD. But if people don't like the taste of something, or, it doesn't taste great. I mean, yeah, it's it's yeah. a plant. Well, I have a mint flavored one, which is actually a lot more pleasing. Um, we have an unflavored one for people who like to cook with it that don't want the mint flavor, but then we also have a mint flavored one that um, tastes really nice too. It's actually our number one. The mint product. kind of overpowers and overpowers. Yeah, the, yeah. So you don't have that the plant skunk taste or that. Smell. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no. I yeah. No, not with ours. That's very awesome. elegant product, very easy to take. But yeah, if you are looking for something where you don't have the taste. So another thing too with an oil, um, you might get a different dose just depending on you know how much you're taking. Whereas with a soft gel, you know what exactly you're dosing much. every single time. Right. Too, so it, can you overdose on CBD? Would that be possible? No, not really. Like no, you'd just be ultra chill. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, there's you never there's it? no such thing as that. Um, I also have the soft gel with curcumin in it. This is like for pain. So oh, um, joint like, pain, like my dad, inflammation. My dad's mid sixties um, swears by this. Allows him to play racquetball. Let's put it that way. It's got curcumin in it, which is also really good. For, um, like it, it's an anti-inflammatory. Is that a plant? Naturally, it is a yeah, plant. It's okay. turmeric. That's um, that's what I wondered. I'm like, sounds like mm -hmm. okay, very cool. Yeah, everything's organic. Everything is just at the high high efficacy, high transparency with our um, third party testing and things like that. We want you to feel really good about what you're putting in your body or giving to your family. And you don't want to smell so like you've been at the dope dealer. But <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so the oil you do under the tongue, like the tincture, just like a, you basically put it under your tongue, you dose it out that way. So just, they come in a cute little bottle like that. So check out, I mean, you can if you're listening to the podcast, but if you go to, what's your website? Farmtohealthorganics.com. So that's easy to remember. We can all spell all that. But the packaging is really, really, she's, it's really, really elegant. It looks really nice. Um, and it's, I mean, it just looks like something you would want to have in your home. And that's not always the case with um, CBD derived products. They don't mm -hmm. always, I mean, sometimes it, it looks like you want to hide them in the back shelf. You know? I had somebody show me a tin and it had masking tape on it and it was something that a guy had made out of his kitchen and... <laughs> So I've seen I've seen a lot. Where do you make, where do you where do you manufacture these? You manufacture them at, at your they, farm? Not yet, but no. that will be the plan. Everything is in the U.S., so our farms um, are all in the United States. All of our hemp comes from the United States. That's another really good question because our market's been flooded with hemp from China and overseas and things like that. But all of our hemp for our products is uh, U.S. And so our you're processing really facility, involved. Everything. Yes. The whole yep. process. We've actually been studying this industry for years. Um, have been to farms all over the country and connected with farmers, you know, Canada, U.S. That are already farming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so. there's other states that are further down the path than we are. The nice thing about Iowa uh, kind of being one of the last ones to the table is that I've got to learn from other people's mistakes. And you said that's one of the things you want to do moving forward is to help other people in a consulting capacity mm -hmm. as as you get your stuff up and running that you know, to allow other help other people go down the same path but without without all the yeah. headaches that you've had which I thought was amazing. It's the most amazing. difficult business I've ever started um, and I've helped I've started several for myself but also for other people and this has been the most difficult one but um, so you needed the whole year of rest. 
<laughs> to get me ready for this to launch for sure. So the thing that you're teaching, this is her rest, what rest over run. Is that the way you read that mm -hmm. um, assessment journal? And so I, this is the first time I'm seeing this, but it looks like, um, you know, just like a way to walk through and you might, you do like a workshop along mm -hmm. with this. To, so y'all don't, don't worry. Um, I'm making her present at a U conference because <laughs> Obviously, um, this is something that is needed, and it's really hard to talk about. Has anybody ever told you that you should rest? Um, they tell me, what? No. <laughs> like, I actually feel like you coming into my life is another one of those signs. Mm -hmm. and, and I and I definitely, uh, I'm going to Mexico next week with my best oh, friend. Good. Um, but um, she's like, so are you going to work the whole time? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to try really hard not to. I just locked myself in a hotel room for 30 hours. Um, to work, hmm. like to get away from the distractions, to not go, not have the distractions. I was hoping you locked yourself in there no, for thirty hours to not work. No, no, not I did take a nap. <laughs> I did take a nap, but it was like because I am like literally that busy right now, and delegation is. It's not only hard for me, but like I almost don't have time for it at this moment. But I do understand it. It's constantly like you even being in my life. Like, hey, guess what I talk about? I talk about rest. And I'm like, <laughs> I heard you, my friend Jess, like <laughs> making random statuses. So how, how does this, and oh, real quick, because I'll forget to talk about it. She also helps your dog with, um, with him because. They have um, anxiety too. I have a high anxiety dog, uh, Beagle Mix, um, 11, almost 12. Nerf guns come out, thunder, lightning, a car goes by, you look at her wrong, you <laughs> she know. Gets her feelings hurt and she yes. needs her stuff. Super high anxiety. Well, well it's actually the second product I, we came out with. The first was the melatonin for me, the second was for my dog. <laughs> <laughs> but also pain too, so like older dogs, you know. Yeah, joint pain. issues. Yeah. All right, so how does teaching people, so you took some time off to rest. You had to learn the value of rest through your own anxiety, develop this CBD company in the meantime, and how does helping people understand what they need to rest, how does that go in with this? Is it a passion of yours? Like, what? how do you feel, like, how did that happen? Our bodies have a way of, like, if we don't take time to rest and chill out, our bodies decide when that's going to happen for us, mm -hmm. so... If you don't want to have a breakdown, right before, if you don't yeah. want to, you know, um, have a panic attack, if you don't want to cause some other disease processes in your life due to stress, then, you know, we have to be proactive with our rest as opposed to reactive. And so you're teaching people that is, you know, just a part of one of the things you taught me or you told me was that you really want to form a lot of education around mm -hmm. around the idea of CBD. So not just like, here, take the CBD with the melatonin to rest, but also learn, like, why aren't you resting? Like, what's causing you to not sleep and stay asleep? Mm -hmm. You know, what's going on with your diet? What's going on with your stress level? What's going on around you? Mm -hmm. And so I'm assuming that this has a lot to do with that mm -hmm. education. Um, so I, I love that because I, I do the same thing with skincare. You know, I talk to people all the time about, and we talked to Dr. Gray last week. She's um, speaking at the conference. Uh, you know that, yeah, I can topically help you with all kinds of things. I can put a bandaid on whatever you want with your with your skin. We can put a bandaid on your anxiety. We can put a bandaid on your sleep. But if we don't get to the root of it, then, I mean, yeah. think about how much better your products are going to work if you can get to the root. So, what's going in your body? What's going in your mind? What's going in your soul? Like how you're dealing with all that is like awesome and I love that you're wrapping education around it in a real way before you even get catapulted I don't know if you know but I'm a big deal I got like 4,000 followers now so I think like your company is going to take off <laughs> I'm, I got a lot of books I know yeah I'm really exciting important but it's um I, I think that like the, all of that and I love the education wrapped around it because that part of it is so important and if I could impart anything on anybody whatever issue you're having how do you get to the you get to the other side by getting to the roots getting mm -hmm. deep so this is awesome where are you doing these workshops um, I've been keynoting um, I uh, presented to the Iowa business educators um, last September and then uh, the Iowa uh, portion of SHRM which is the Society for um, Human Resources had me keynote in December uh, Megan Hoffmeister had me speak at the Dostal House recently and um, and you you shared with me so you were a member of the Dostal House mm -hmm. before um, as Better Homes and Gardens mm -hmm. of Real Estate um, and so like speaking there was like kind of a coming out of sorts about what you're up to yeah and you 
how was your anxiety with that? Were you worried about what people would think? Oh, I dosed before I went in. <laughs> <laughs> it really w was a, a bit of a trigger, but at the same time, it was such a loving, compassionate, warm audience of friends that, you know, love me. And it was, a, a, gosh, it's just going to catapult me. Now that I know my people, like, really have my back, Yeah, I can all, you, there's no stopping. Is it easier to talk? Oh, it's so much easier now that I've come clean with, like, because some of those people, I was so, I, I love them so much, and I was had so much anxiety, but they would think about me. Right. Because they knew me as this, I feel like a completely different version of myself. Like, right. I, this, what I'm living now is actually the real me, like the, the holistic, I, um. Have you always kind of been? I've it? always been holistic and kind of just plant-based and things like that, and believe that our bodies can heal themselves if we take care of them, things like that. So. Um, but I was afraid that if they saw that side of me, so like, yeah, an event like that where I was talking to my friends, um, and they still had my back, just like, watch me go. Yeah, <laughs> it's been really cool to talk to you because there's several times that you've mentioned, like, just kind of stepping out and doing it scared, and that's, um, that's not easy to do, and, and, but having, like, knowing, I mean, you didn't know when you were going to tell people what you're up to and going after this. I don't know if it's a risky adventure. It doesn't seem terribly risky in the fact that people wouldn't accept it long term, but that people really close to you would want to protect you and say, "Oh gosh, don't, don't hit that industry. That's that's going to destroy." And shoot, I've watched the documentaries of um, several um, different you know manufacturers and things and what's happened out in Colorado, and it's up and it's down and it's left and it's right. So it's really cool that you're saying, "Hey, the." I found I know what my who my tribe is. Mm -hmm. That's really awesome. That's that's really inspiring and I think it's cool. I think it's awesome that you're wrapping education around it. This looks. So how did you come up with this anyway? This this journal. Just it was on. It was my journey, right? I had written a blog post, and you guys can go find me on LinkedIn. Um, end of uh, 2018, and it was called rest over run and it was really something I didn't think anybody would ever read but it just kind of came pouring out of me our journey of rest and um, this is just an extension of that um, so I take people through a series of like a triage where they're at currently in life and then we talk about what if what are some possible outcomes if something doesn't change and then here are some benefits and like get people thinking differently about you and know, I think at. high achievers think that if they rest that means they've stopped or that they're going to get behind mm -hmm. and do you help with that anxiety <laughs> I really think that I mean nothing in nature blooms all the time I think of that right away mm -hmm. and everything still gets accomplished I also think that looking back on my real estate career there was definitely a critical mass where you can like if you go any higher you're actually not producing more mm -hmm. you're actually becoming a detriment to your business but if you're well rested and have a smile on your face as opposed to putting out bad vibes you're actually going to create more business for yourself and, and things like that so right. it's almost a lie that we believe that we right. just have to like go 100 percent all the time and yeah yeah i always tell people not to like consistency is the key to success i believe but to not confuse consistency with intensity and there will be times of intensity like there are times that you have to put your nose down and get to work and it's and it's rough and it's hard especially in the beginning of things but yeah the the actually slowing down has to happen mm -hmm. um so i i told jess i did nap while i was in that <laughs> hotel room for 30 hours i did take a nap i did she was like well i saw bricks i had like my Instagram stories, Benet Brown in the background. I'm like, okay, but you didn't see the murder stories later. And then I watched some Tony Robbins. And then I watched like Love is Blind. So I had balance of, and, a, and a nap. So I I did some resting <laughs> and I got some things done. But I, I appreciate you talking about this. I appreciate you being open about it. I, I love who you're targeting and how you're targeting them. Your products are beautiful. I, um, you know, it's something that feeling like you can share this with your grandmother or share it with um, your, your mom, your friend, and not feel like you're dealing pot mm -hmm. is, um, I think that's what a lot of conservative Iowans are looking for. We have a, a lot of those people that are kind of being missed in this, like, well, if you're not, you know, a hippie, then I guess CBD is not for you and you're kind of changing that. Mm -hmm. Or you're bringing it to the people, people. <laughs> the real people. <laughs> um, good old Iowa folk. Yeah, well, we need it. I mean. People are hurting. It's humid here. <laughs> it hurts your damn joints. 
really does. All right, so again, it's, uh, your website is farm2healthorganics.com. You can look her up all over in, on LinkedIn. Are you on Instagram too? Um, and, and Facebook and check her out. And if nothing else, please just support this because she's gonna pave the way for a lot of people to do some awesome things in the marketplace. So I'm gonna stop this, bye. And then, yeah. All right. So, oh. welcome to Alyssa Garner. Yeah. Pa pause. <laughs> and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments. Um, I'm sure she'll come and and answer your questions for you. Um, and right yeah. when we're tech, okay. yeah, I'll I'll ping you if they if people have any real questions. But um, I'm sure you can message her too. Check out her products online because you can get um, it, you know, the thing that I'm most impressed with is how transparent. And how high your integrity is okay. with getting like a really good quality product to people. So and free shipping anywhere in the U.S. too. So and then um, and yeah. Grandma, she said she delivered it to your house. <laughs> <laughs> You're my neighbor. We should know each other anyway. Yeah. I'll come by. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Trade you for a pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know she used to do that kind of stuff, but now she's the grandma that'll buy you one from Walmart. <laughs> I don't know when this happened. Not made with love. <laughs> Not anymore. No, no. She made. I, I still tease her. She made fudge with a uh, Velveeta cheese once, and it was good. But yeah, yeah. You can like mix Velveeta cheese with a bunch of chocolate, and it'll come out fudge. Yep. Mm -mm. But yeah, she did that to us. <laughs> She's funny. I love her. Okay, but but truly, that's I I I really love what you're up to, thanks. and thanks for bringing this to people and. You guys can expect to see her at our at our next conference. I'm forcing her. She's coming. <laughs> All right. See you later. Yes.